Okay, here we go. It is October 6, 2014, and you can tell that because I still have my Royals rally beard. Playoff beard is in full effect because the Royals are still in the playoffs. You're going for that American League Championship Series. Here we go. Now, that being said, time to get to the climate regions of Latin America. Really quick, there's two directions that I need to have you do. First one, that is right everything down that you see first and foremost this is really short this isn't going to take a lot of time the second thing is you might want to go back and listen to any extra things that I say and write those down as you hear them okay so like I said write everything that you see down and you might want to rewind and write everything that you hear me say down for a little bit of extra tidbit okay all right there's only three slides here, so here we go. You ready? Let's do it. First of all, northern Mexico. Okay, one of the climate regions that we're going to talk about, northern Mexico, is a very mountainous, dry area. Okay? Uh, typically, we would think of this as kind of like looking like the American Southwest. All right? Like Arizona, uh, New Mexico, some parts of Texas, Southern California, etc. Right along that border. If you look right along that border, the red line on this map shows that border and we're talking about this area right up in this area okay this is high mostly rugged country uh, very mountainous uh, uh, very dry they get very little rainfall so there's uh, desert uh, plants shrubs plants grasses things like things of that nature ranching is huge in this region okay so write that one down because there is very little that you can actually grow in this area in terms of agriculture, in terms of uh, crops, but there is definitely ranching because of the vast openness uh, of the area uh, in terms of it being so little, few people living there based on this tough terrain. So that is northern Mexico. We will use northern Mexico when we get to class. All right? Okay, our next climate region is going to be Costa Rica. Costa Rica is located in Central America. It is located right next to Panama. If you look on our map, Panama is located, uh, is the, the gap uh, between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. This is the shortest portion is down here in Panama. Well, Costa Rica connects this. So we're going to look at this one. This Costa Rica is known for its tropical rainforest, especially over out onto the eastern portions uh, of, of, of the country. Uh, it has this mountainous area right here. And if you look, volcanoes are found throughout the western portion of uh, uh, Costa Rica. You have volcano, volcanoes, volcanoes, and all of them are throughout these national parks. Now, all these mountains are created uh, according to plate tectonics. Uh, and they're located along that rim, uh, that ring of fire, right along that Pacific rim that goes along from the Pacific Ocean all the way down North America, down into Central America, and on into South America, which ends up forming those Andes Mountains that we've talked about from our maps in class. Okay, uh, Some of the things that can grow there. Uh, this is a very tropical region right around the equator, so uh, it's just north of it. So... Uh, very warm weather or a very humid weather uh, and things like bananas coffee beans are those main exports the things that they the country uh, makes and then sends out to us to eat and drink here so that's our second one Costa Rica now for the third and final one and that would be Brazil now Brazil is massive first of all okay uh, the population is w huge uh, the population in Brazil actually is larger if you add it than all of other South American countries. All of these other ones, you can add them up, combine them, and Brazil's population is still larger than those other countries' combined populations. It's a big country. It's one of the largest in the world. Sao Paulo being one of the largest cities in the world. Um, and it's located, again, right, uh, right down in the southern portion of Brazil. Uh, Amazon is clearly known for the rainforest. Uh, and along the uh, Amazon rainforest is found in the Amazon basin is the Amazon River located right here on your map 
and you notice, we've talked about this in class, all of those tributaries that go in and out of it, all of these rivers that come in and out, particularly out of the Andes Mountains, but also from these other uh, uh, eastern lands of, of Brazil as well. The north ends up having rainfall all the time. The east has rainfall rarely. And then the south ends up being the populated area of Brazil. That's where you get your big cities, Rio de Janeiro, it's where you get Sao Paulo, and that's where we are also known for uh, the festivals such as uh, Carnival. It's also where soccer is, is huge, is, is, in, is in the south, because this is where most of the population is located. Okay, so there's Brazil. Uh, as a quick little recap, we talked about three specific uh, places. We talked about northern Mexico. We talked about Costa Rica and Central America. And finally, we talked about Brazil. Let's have these three countries, these three places written down. Have as much detail as you can written down on those. If you want to add anything else that, anything else that you know about these three places, you can add those onto your sheet. And then when you're done, let's bring those into class. And we're going to have those ready for our flip activity. And we're going to have a lot of fun when we get to class. See you then. Booyah. Go Royals.